Hey dude, it's Thub, and uh, guess what? We're out of focus. A thing happened. Yeah. Yeah. You probably read the title. I probably wrote something like, Garage Got Broken Into. Now that's not 100% uh, accurate to say. I mean, it is true, but also true, I never actually locked the garage before. I know that's dumb, you don't need to tell me, but the truth is I really liked not locking the garage because it's convenient for me to just walk in and out when I need to. And I like the way that feels. You know, I like the... I'm not in love with the idea of having a feeling like I have to keep everything locked down. I know that's how normal people live their lives. I just like... Trusting, not necessarily people, because people are trash, I just mean like the overall trusting. Oh look, look who's here. Hey. Gang, gang. Case in point. Um, just, I like trusting that everything's gonna be great. Uh, over the, and uh, having to lock my garage and inconvenience myself like that is kind of a bummer. But that's where we're at now. I installed this bad boy. Okay, so here's the story. We used to have there used to be a really nice collection of bottles here, you know? This bin had a bag full of them, and then there was a really, really big bag right there. You'll notice that that's currently not the case. So what had happened, I came <laughs> home, and uh, this door was kind of swinging. No, I got up in the morning, this door was swinging, and uh, I looked, and this bin was empty. Uh, so that was a bummer. And I went and uh, mentioned that to the fellows at the Bottle Depot to keep an eye out for the bag, because it was kind of a unique bag, and uh, went about my day. And I wasn't quick enough, and the following morning, the door was swinging open again, and the other bag has gone missing. So, um, although I should have been quicker about it, I went and set up whatever. It was like probably max 50 bucks worth of bottles but it's not really about the money is it it's the principle the principle of the thing <laughs> so now i've got a lock here the same thing happens with my car because i am known to frequently uh not lock the car and occasionally i come out to it and it's been gone through and everything has been thrown everywhere but i find it kind of funny because just like the garage there's nothing in there but trash. Like, literally all trash. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, anybody who watches my channel knows as well as I do that trash can be worth money. And apparently so does our invader. Yeah. Vigilante justice is what needs to happen. Yeah, we're not entirely sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull him aside, we're gonna have a stern talking with him and or her. We're gonna we're gonna sternly talk the heck out of him. Yeah, with our fists. Hey! <laughs> so after the lock I figured that would protect things, but then I come home today and look here. Look at that gap. Hey? Eh? Pardon my French, but that doesn't normally sit like that. It's been adjusted. But he really messed that up. Uh, let's see if it closes properly. Does it lock? Uh, yeah. Ah, back to normal. Wait. You literally fried that up. That's not cool, man. When our safety in our own house is jeopardized because someone wants like 10, 12 bucks, like. I don't cool. know what they were after because they already got the bottles, which are the most valuable part. I mean, I guess there's a little scrap metal, but you guys already saw I brought in all the good stuff already, so there's really nothing good left here. Brought all the expensive tools in. They've got a lot of product boxes they can choose from if that's what they're after. Um. So that's really weird, and I wonder if we can pull some some fingerprint. We're not gonna go off CSI on this. The ground is like packed down and used way too much to actually pull any footprints or anything. Like it's not fresh snow, so you can't really do that. However, there was one more addition I made when I added the lock. Who wants to check the security footage? I would love to do that.
struggle nation. This is a trail camera, so it's the sort of thing that you would lock to a, uh, a tree or a fence or something like that to keep an eye on different trails and animal runs to, to know what their patterns were. So you track animal movements is basically what this is for. I just want to use it to keep an eye on human behavior. It's got a motion activated shutter with an infrared flash, so um, it'll just instantly start firing off photos as soon as something moves in its field of view. Um, it's silent and it's the flash is invisible to the naked eye, like you saw in, in footage earlier. I actually found this, legitimately, in a dumpster. Um, it was not in good shape. The thingy was all melted to heck and scratched up, and uh, it has a code lock security. Um, okay, this thing sells for like 600 bucks, so it's not the kind of thing that you want to just leave lying around, and yet that is precisely what its intended purpose is. Um, so to try and minimize that, they have a code lock that you register to your name uh, and there is absolutely no way to uh, remove the code lock. It's like a, unless you're the registered owner. So I had to mail this in to Minnesota to get the, the code lock reset by the manufacturer, which took a few months, not because that's how long that work takes, but because that's the policy they hold onto them for uh, a while just to make sure nobody's went missing. It needs to be a while because if you set it up in the in the bushes, then you're not going to be like walking past it and checking it every couple of days, probably. Anyway, not reported stolen was legitimately thrown out, and uh, they charged. They didn't do it for free. They charged me for it, but they also replaced the case. So now, for less than a hundred bucks, I have a brand new looking um, six hundred dollar trail camera, and I was just going to sell it, but it's a pretty neat little toy, isn't it? Let's find out. Now, I'm not really expecting much in the way of results. It's dark and cold, and people wear masks, and 100 Reconics, 101 Reconics. Look, it's me! <laughs> Let's, uh... Now... Well, I got a picture of a cat. See, I'm going to have to fiddle with some of the settings. That was the problem here, is I'd never actually used it before. I was kind of planning on selling it. And uh, then this just uh, came up, so I quickly slapped it together. Looks like I got a... Is that a bird? Well, works great during the day. Oh, Sonia. Oh, there's your boy coming home. Oh, and there's us saying hello. Okay. Well, that didn't work out exactly how I was hoping it would. Um, <clears throat> part of that is because this is the Reconyx Hyperfire 750. Um, what is it? The SM750. Uh, which is, in fact, a license plate camera. It's intended to take very good, clear pictures of license plates at night. Um... So it's not the best thing for nighttime security photos. However, it still does take really good daytime photos. I might keep it. But I think what it would be smart for me to do would be to sell it and get a cheaper... Um, like, you can get trail cameras for, like, a hundred bucks. So if I could sell this for a couple hundred dollars and get one of those, then I'd still be ahead and still have something that would probably work fine for my purposes. You know, it wouldn't have made a huge difference if I found out who exactly it was who was uh, 
helping themselves to something for nothing. It's probably somebody I know because I do talk to all of the the alley walkers out in this area. Um, so I probably know them and they probably know it's me and they probably know it was my garage they were into. Uh, so it would be nice to know who I can't trust. Um, but the garage is locked now and they can't get in through the, the bay doors. Um, like, you can get into anything if you're motivated enough. I don't think they're motivated enough to get at the rest of the trash. Now there are other things that I have planned for today. So y'all may or may not be aware that the new Smash Bros came out. And uh, speaking of Smash Bros, my Smashin' Bro decided this weekend was the best weekend to have a Smash Bros tournament. He's not wrong. What you really need for that though is one of these uh, Wii U GameCube adapters, which unfortunately is extremely hard to find in stores right now. Um, they're sold out everywhere. In two weeks, they'll probably have stock everywhere. But I need one right away. So I found the only one for sale anywhere in the city was part of a Wii U collection that an individual had posted up for $250. Pretty reasonably priced when you consider how much was in this box. I wanted to buy just the GameCube controllers and the adapter, but uh, she wanted to move them all at the same time. So I just decided, screw it, maybe if she'd work with me on the price a little bit. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I got it for 200 bucks. She gave me 50 bucks off. That included two of those Pro controllers, the adapter, that's 30 bucks, four OEM Nintendo GameCube controllers, and all of this other good stuff. That's the console, the thingy, all of the power cords, um, five games, there was a sixth game, but it's, you know, it, it's scratched up and dead, forget it, and four Wiimotes, two of which have the Motion Plus. I'm not going to spend too long trying to explain the values of those things. For those of you who are familiar with video games, you'll probably be aware that that's a pretty good price. I think I can get my money back for that. You may also recall, a little while ago I found a Wii in the trash. It wasn't just a Wii, it was full of stuff. Have a dig. <sighs> and it included Disney Infinity, Portal, these, and one of these, which <coughs> I totally forgot about. Um, and a whole bunch of non-motion plus Wiimotes. So here's the plan. I'm gonna swap out the stuff that I do want from this box um, with a bunch of the other stuff that I'm not as interested in. And I think I should be able to make back my 200 bucks, but still keep the stuff that I do want. Fingers crossed, because I don't think now is the greatest time to try and sell a Wii U. It's now much later, and we worked to clean this area up a little bit. I think it looks a lot nicer. Ignore that stuff on the ground there. Uh, these controllers put them up for 25 bucks a piece or 80 for the set. That's Canadian if it seems a little high. But these are original and they're like super tight, all of them. They're really great shape. Now is probably the second best time in history to be selling GameCube controllers, so uh, fingers crossed on that. However, I ran into a bit of an issue. Of course you gotta test stuff out. <clears throat> before you list it for sale. And I'm glad I turned this on because I found a copy of Smash Bros. Uh, 4 in the disk drive. Unfortunately, we'll move the analog stick. Oh, oh hello. Yeah, it's got some drift. That's not an uncommon problem. <sighs> that just means I'm gonna have to put a little more effort into this if I want to get my money back. First things first. Battery out. This little guy has a lot of screws. So, what I'm hoping for here is maybe I can just open this thing up and give it a really good cleaning. Be very careful not to strip any of these. There we are. Well, I see why people tend to go for replacements rather than uh, cleaning them. But this is just what I've got to do. Got some 
isopropyl alcohol. Now, compressed air. This is gonna be loud. Put it back together and see if it uh, works any better. That sucks. Okay, so that went better than expected. Uh, looks like the um, looks like there's still plenty of interest in a Wii U with a stack of games for 100 bucks, even though it's got a little drift on the analog stick. I'm so glad because I don't feel like doing that. And the value is definitely still there. Those are good games. Now I distracted myself. Oh, so there's a mountain of uh, Apple product boxes. There's quite a few there. Um, I've gotten a couple responses. Oh, and the other product boxes actually went. Okay, I sold about half of them. Um, so, nee, 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 to all the naysayers out there, who's the idiot now, huh? It's probably still me, because I'm the one who had to store these for who knows how long. Anyway, gonna clean those up. Got a last project. This bad boy. Fine, Sonia. Yeah, so this is Wub's Christmas present. I didn't buy it myself, it's a split. Um, now, the reason why this is a project. I already started on it. Custom color. Um, yeah, I've got um, I've got the ones for the Joy Cons as well, so that's what I'm going to do here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I already learned a lesson with this one. Real simple. Kind of already learned this one with the iPhone, but here we are again. Don't uh, don't strip the screws. Be really careful with those tiny ones. Otherwise, you end up making a whole mess. I don't think he'll mind. Um, I just feel kind of silly about the whole thing. So now, the Joy-Cons. Um, it's not the most fun thing to make a video out of. So I think I'm just going to get that done. And uh, I will... Maybe I'll... If, uh, if it's successful, I will show you guys the results. Besides that, I think that makes a pretty pretty decent day. Um, not everything goes according to plan, huh? Oh, uh, not so bad. Little, um, so the, the Wii U, I think it's already sold. Um, two people offered to e-transfer me the money and pick it up ASAP, so um, glad I didn't have to worry about that. Did I already mention that? Probably. And uh, the product boxes, uh, somebody asked a lot of questions because they didn't want every single one of them they wanted very specific ones and uh, they offered me 80 bucks for like, 40 boxes or something like that um, so uh, that worked I don't have the cash in my pocket yet so I'm not gonna get too excited but um, and I still think that was kind of dumb over the long term how long I've been collecting this massive stack of recycled cardboard um, I'm just glad I managed to turn it into something without having to throw it back out. Yeah. What else was there? Oh, and then the the surveillance thing. It's not really a big deal, and it's not about the money. Here's my plan for revenge. Um, it's kind of later on in the week already, so I've already been uh, getting started. But the plan is have the most insanely successful trash picking week anyone has ever seen. Um, not exclusively in terms of profit, although that seems to be going okay. Um, but just, what is the phrase here? What is it, what, how would you? Success is the best revenge. As long as you're leaving it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.